Jake, as you're just one and only, my name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Spaceship. Right, what's this episode like? 17? Something like that. 18? 19? I can't remember now. I've been working on this elevator a little bit. I want to swap this block out for this, for this one. Just so it has a little bit of a different block where you push the button. That's the only reason why I've changed. I thought that looks pretty cool. You see, it looks like a little keypad or something. Uh, and I have changed something more about it as well. If we push this, we should go up. Boing! At the top, I got a button. That brings you back down again. I mean, if that ain't the coolest thing that you've ever seen in your life. There you go. Boing! Oh, boing! <laughs> boing! So the way that I've done this, I've only got it on um, uh, on this elevator. I can't do it on that one. I'll explain why in a minute. Uh, but so this button up the top, we, we, we worked out down here when we push this button. It fires this piston and uh, opens up this block at the same time. You go through it and then this block retracts or, or extends, sorry, underneath you, uh, blocking the way back down again. Like... So, okay, at the top, all I've got is a button that is only hooked up to the torch up here, which is powering this piston. So, by pushing this button, the power is going down here, turning off this torch, turning off the repeater, or attracting the, pi the, uh, the piston for the uh, short time that the button is on. So, that allows you to drop down. Unfortunately, I can't do it on this one because of, well... There is, there is a way. There is a way. We're so confined here because I can't build on this side because obviously it's the hangar. By the way, we're going to use a nether portal for that. I think I said that already, but I think a nether portal would look sick. We could even turn it on and off as like a protective sort of little shield section. Might do that today. I don't know. Uh, but wait, basically, this one's a little bit different as this one actually has the torch underneath it. Obviously, I'm going to move this over here, but it's not going to make a difference anyway. Um... Like, if I had a torch there. It's so, so hard. Really, really is. Um, because we need that extended, you see. Uh, the only way that I can think about doing it is we need to basically... Uh, the, the short answer is we need to power this torch here. But we can't uncover uh, other... Uh, or, or we can't break many blocks around here. Which is why I've still got a pressure plate on this one instead of a button. Uh, because we can't get the wiring around. We've got two doorways here. Unless we make this one doorway in the middle... I sort of like the two doorways. We could make it one doorway in the middle and then have the elevator off to the left. Or even two elevators. One up here and one up there. Would that be better? I need to think about it. I'm going to ask you guys in the comment section. Um, it's becoming very, very awkward to wire this up because of the reduced space that we have. We can't have redstone coming this way because of the door. We can't have redstone coming this way because of the door. So we only have one block on either side. And that one block has to be used for the wall anyway. Uh, so it makes it super, super difficult. On top, we can't really use that many because we've got all that much redstone. Because we've got the bedrooms above here. And it's just very, very awkward. So maybe moving them to the side is the best option and making a doorway in the middle. I sort of like the sound of that. Now, let's get a nether portal. Obviously, we have custom nether portals now. I don't know if this is actually too big for us. Where is obsidian? This is harder than you think. Um, I don't even... I'm trying to think of where obsidian is in... <laughs> in like a normal texture obsidian netherrack prismarine oh we're gonna have to just go through them aren't we <laughs> that's a block of coal and I'm probably gonna miss it as well because I'm sort of doing this quicker than my brain can read you go. Aha! Obsidian. Wonderful. 
So, um, I would like to keep the door, if preferable, if, if, if we can. I would like to keep the door as large as possible. So, if we have this up here, up here. I, I don't know if this is too big. I think it is it 28 blocks is the maximum for I can't remember. It's the sort of thing that I usually know. Like if I was talking to Toy Cat in a podcast, I'd be able to say, ah, it's this many blocks. But then when you think about it, you're like, is it? Is it? I don't know. Dudes! <laughs> Uh, oh, but that's the problem. That's the problem. That doesn't matter actually that bad, to be fair. Now, where are we going to come out? Out of interest. Okay, we come out here. All right. That is so sick. That is crazy sick. We need a way, though, to be able to turn this on and off. Because, as you can see, I can't fly through it. If we were on a online get or is it? Is it instant on creative, but a loading screen on survival? There's something. You can get a loading screen on certain modes, and it's instant on others. Uh, but we need a way to turn this on and off. And there's a way that we can do that here in Minecraft using... Uh, I think you can either put a block, like, like push a block in front of the nether portal to turn it on. Or you can use dispensers to fire out uh, water and fire chargers. So let's grab some fire charges here. Now, I haven't done this in a really long time. So don't be surprised if we end up getting this a little bit wrong. Now, I can't put this into the wall, obviously. Like, I can't replace that with that because, I mean, you guys know I can use a fire charge. You, you guys know that that's not going to work. That's not going to fire the... Uh, the portal it needs to be uh, obsidian all of the way around uh, so we're actually gonna have to have a spot like where would be the best spot to fire a nether portal probably i wonder if we fired it let's give it a test if i fired it here so i put some of them in there if i hit that block will it fire it some of you might be going of course it will. Some of you guys might be going, of course it won't. I don't know. Well, it set fire to the carpet, nearly. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to think of, like, the, the easiest spot for this. About there. Uh, oop, uh. Put these in there. Fire spread is off. I was just making sure because I don't know where that went. <laughs> okay, that doesn't work either. I think what we're going to have to have is something. There must. I used to do it. I used to have it so you could fire it. I might have to go into my redstone world and have a look to see exactly how we've done it again. I've tried this, haven't I? Nah! There we go. So we can do it like that. And obviously I can drop this down. Or I might even put it higher up. That might be a better idea. Like if we done it up here instead. Let's just bust that. If we done it up here. And then remove those ones and those ones. For the moment I can just put the button on here. Oh, on there as well. I mean, why not? Alright, so we can activate the... the um, nether portal when we want we just need to be able to turn it off now so we can actually do another one on the other side i'm hoping and do a very short tick of uh of water now obviously for our test purposes it's actually going to be a longer tick so maybe it's a good idea i'm just trying to think we're gonna ruin all of our carpets anyway <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Uh, like that. 
Let's just extend this down. If we go by eight blocks, I'm not going to ruin all of the carpets and have to replace them. I can just replace the ones that we've, we've got here. This isn't what I had planned today, but it's going to be so cool if we can get it working. Alright, that's actually not bad. That means it would turn it off. Uh, we could obviously move this uh, a block further forward, though. Let's replace this with the lever. And, and yeah, and I think move it forward a block. Nope, I don't want to face it down. I want to facing... Ugh. No, I want to face it the other way. I want to face it this way. No! Thank you! <laughs> Was it that hard, really? Uh, lever instead this time. Put the water in there. Okay, I didn't quite expect that, but... Alright, we lost a couple of carpets, but it shouldn't matter too much. Alright, we need to fire it, like, with a redstone clock in a different way, but that should turn it off. Whoops. Please don't set fire to anything. Shum. And then... There you go. So that'll turn it off. Now we can do it in a better way that hopefully even the uh, the redstone or the water won't be seen or at least as much. I don't know if we can get it completely flawless. But let's have a go, shall we? So, um, let's just do a normal... Like circuit up here. I don't know exactly how we're going to do it, so I'm just grabbing all of the redstone stuff. Um, and then we'll hook them both up together with their own... S well, no, they don't, we don't want them both hooked up together. We want them on separate buttons, don't we? An open button and a shut button. Yeah, I think so. So let's have... Um, obviously, that on top to activate it. And this goes up to... We want it to a button, really, don't we? I mean, a button would be best. So let's just put a button on there for the moment. So at the moment... We can turn it on. And we can turn it off. But off that same button, we want to be able to uh, toggle it off as well. Now, this is the hard part, that getting the right timing. Obviously, uh, one tick of delay isn't going to be enough. Because it's going to fire them both so fast together and uh, we're even gonna get a little redstone lock in fact let's stop that by happening by putting a repeater there to start off with let's try four ticks of delay oh but not before we stop the water first there we go let's try four ticks of delay not enough hit the button again ah Try eight ticks. No, I think... I think the way that we're going to do it is by using a... Um, a monostable circuit. I think that's going to be a better way. It's going to be slightly larger, but it's going to be a lot more accurate. A lot more accurate. So, uh, for the monostable circuit, we're going to want to have a piece of redstone on there with a repeater here and then a sticky piston there can I have it down one not really no, I need it up there. I can oh, I can remove that. Oh, good. I thought that might have been in the way. Obviously, I can't use obsidian to push with, but I can just use sand. There we go. Um, this isn't going to be seen anyway. So there's a monostable circuit, which basically means that this is only going to fire one tick now. Instead of firing uh, for the length of a button, it's only going to fire one tick long. Um, let's grab some more obsidian just so it's the same block that I'm building from. And put this there. Uh, we want... Will a redstone do it? Oh man, that was like super quick. No. Um, I need 
it facing into it, I'm assuming. Maybe use a user repeater. Okay, there we go. So, that's one tick. But then what we want is we want this to actually fire again uh, shortly after. In fact, maybe even as quick as we possibly can after. So the way that we can do that is, I think, even having another T flip flop, but that fires a little bit afterwards. I can hide this redstone anywhere. Like I, I can move it to over there after this episode, so I'm not too bothered about building it here for the moment. So let's have this one, but this one that fires. Let's do for the moment three ticks after. Okay. Nope. Um, stop that from happening. All right, that was good. That You heard it tick twice. And we only get that tiny little bit of water come out. Did you see that? Tiny little bit. That means that we no longer should need this here. Because it's, I don't think it's even going to spread a tie at all, in fact. Let's reduce this to two ticks to see if that's any quicker. That might actually still be actually firing some water out. I can't. You can't see. <laughs> That's any trouble. Let's um, take these away. Let's turn it on. And then turn it off. It did work. Why did that sound like a bottle being smashed? On. Off. With, uh, it does sound like a bottle being, a potion being smashed. I wonder if that's a bug, a sound bug. But yeah, so that has now gave us the ability to turn this nether portal on and off, giving a force field. Because you guys were all concerned about ha having a big open area because of oxygen and stuff. Obviously, we can make up something like, it doesn't matter, we're in space, there's all sorts of futuristic technology. But, it's always better if we have a way to turn it on and off. It's just, it's just better, isn't it? How about that then? Papow, I love that. And off. Now there is one thing, we are actually gonna have to have a way to turn it on and off from the outside as well. Plus I want to see what it looks like. So this shouldn't be too difficult. This has to be here. But where exactly do we want the buttons themselves to be? Obviously we could have I can't, can I have the, what's behind, nothing's behind here, is there? No. I could have a button here to turn it on from the outside. And go, boop. And that all lights up. And then for the off one, we could have that one over here. Oops. No. 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 <laughs> is that the right one? Yeah. Um, I actually don't know if I if I like that from this outside. I think we should probably stick with the uh, the uh, mossy cobble uh, there, there, and there. The reason why we didn't have this before is because the entrance is sort of on this level. But now the entrance is on this level. We sort of moved it back a couple of blocks. I do like the sort of sideways ones though, and that one as well. I like the sideways ones where the buttons are. Just makes them stand out a little bit. We might change it up to a, a different one like that one, maybe. The chiseled one. Does that just make more sense? That one. And that one. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, so now we're on here. We want to hook that up to there. The other button, to turn it the opposite way, we could have that one. That one, that one, that one. Oh, with these blocks, though. And then sideways ones. We might as well do this as we go. And then, not that one. Where's the full one? There. Like that, that sort of hides it up pretty well. And then we can have the off button here. Now this one doesn't matter, this one 
redstone wise isn't a problem at all we have that to there and then all we need to do is get the redstone leading up to there so we can have uh, whoops we can have a torch there obviously there's definitely 100% need to ways to do this but for the moment this is just getting it working for this episode like that um, oop. Dink, dink. and there so we've got on oh that looks so cool right <laughs> that is that is cool Ah, oh, I can't believe that the nether portals look like that. Uh, now, the only trouble is, is getting back into it. I should probably go through the glass, maybe. <laughs> i got to turn it off, you see, now. Is that silverfish? No. Whew. Oh, man, that panicked me. Oops, that panicked me. How are we doing for time? Oh, I've used the wrong one. Hold on. Orange, not brown. I don't have time. Okay, we're like nearly at the end of the episode. Or are at the end of the episode. Um, for the off switch, all we've got to do is have a button. Uh, oh no, where's that one gone? This one. That one has to be there. With a button on it. Redstone. Hooked up. Uh, there. And there. And then we just need to hook it up at, as long as it's one of these three blocks, we'll be fine. Uh, in fact, if we just have like vertical redstone from here. Um, it's going to fire anyway. Nice. No, let's not do that. Let's have that one, that one, and that one. I would love to get this working. And then there. And that should be good. That should be good. So now we can turn it off from the outside. On from the outside. Oh. Uh? Oh, you've broken. This is a really, we really weird redstone bug. It's always been in the game, it seems. And I have never understood it. But yeah, dispensers just break for some reason. I, I'm, I don't know why. I don't know why. So inside and outside, or oh, the inside one works on and off. Yeah, that's broken again. All right, we'll have to fix. We'll have to do a different way of hooking that up to hopefully stop that from breaking. Outside on works. Outside off works. That's great. With no water um, visible, no washing away done. That shouldn't be a problem uh, to to remap out. Um, maybe using a torch to to fire it instead would be better. I don't know. I'm sure there's something that we can do. Maybe even just firing it off. That block instead will fix it. Like that one, that one, and that one. That stair didn't need to go, but. On. Off. On. Yeah, that looks like it solved it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's something to do with redstone going directly onto the dispenser, like what we had then. Um, but that's so cool. I, I absolutely love that. If you guys enjoyed the episode, which I, I think all of you hopefully would have, because that is so sick, then hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Bye!